Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna get set up with our board. So we're gonna be putting the case on, setting up our SD card, and plugging in our board. So let's get started. So first we'll start by assembling the case on the board. So you'll need your case. You'll need those four screws that came in the package. You'll also need these four rubber feet. Kind of looks like a Lego. You'll need the thermal pad. Be careful when you're taking this out of the bag. I accidentally ripped mine. You'll also need tweezers. And lastly, you'll need tissue and a Q-tip. This will just help us kind of clean off some of the paste that's on the board. So we'll start by removing this heat sink that's right in the middle of the board. Um, it's kind of pinned in by these plastic feet. And so this is where our tweezers come in. You're going to pinch the bottom of those feet and push down. And you're going to do this on both sides of the heat sink. Once you've popped both feet out, you're going to take the heat sink and twist it a little bit to the side. It should come off pretty easily and then you'll see this paste on the bottom of it. That's where the Q-tip and tissue come in hand. You're just going to want to clean it off a little bit on your board. And it should look like this when you're done. So now you're just going to want to grab your thermal pad and apply it to the part where there was previously thermal paste. It should stick pretty easy. Uh, all you need to do is just press, apply a little bit of pressure, and it'll stick. So now you're going to want to remove the remaining four feet in each corner of the board. Uh, so you're going to flip it over and you're going to kind of do the same process we did with the heat sink. Where you're going to use your tweezers and you're just going to push it down. And again, you're gonna do this for all four corners on the board. So next, we're ready to put the board in our case. So you're gonna put the bottom and you're gonna to wanna to make sure to line that up so that the holes match up with the board. Also in that top left corner, you'll see that there's a white sticker with RP hyphen and then some characters. You're gonna to wanna to write down those characters so that we can connect our board later. So now we're gonna apply the top of the case onto the board, make sure it lines up. And do you see that plastic? rod you're going to want to line that up with the lights which will be at the top of my board right here when you put the top down it should kind of click into place and that's how you know it'll be positioned correctly uh, so once we're finished with that you're going to want to flip over your case and you'll see these four holes uh, so that's where we're going to want to put in the screws I did it really quickly with my hands, but you're going to want a screwdriver later on to make that more secure. Then you're going to grab those four rubber feet, and we're going to put it down on the four corners of our board, just so there's some traction, our board doesn't slide, and it kind of will have an easy landing in case you drop it. So you're going to peel off each foot like so. Um, it's a little bit sticky, so you may have to pull a little hard, but after my first one, it was pretty easy to pull the rest of them off. Uh, so once you get that finally pulled off, you're going to just find one of the four corners and you're just going to press down on it. It'll stick by itself. So you're going to repeat this for the other three feet on the board and then your case is pretty much assembled. I pushed down my feet a little extra just to make sure it was stuck on and I guess the next step would be to tighten your screws. So I grabbed my screwdriver and I gave it nice tightened so now my board is locked in and secured within the case. So the next step is to grab that SD card that came with your board and you're going to find the hole where it says SD and you're just going to slide it in. You want to make sure that the pins on the card align with the board so as you can see I kind of turned mine upside down and then you just push it in it should lock in. So now we're going to get our board ready, so you're going to get your power adapters, your router, uh, the power supply, and the red ethernet cable. This is all going to help us kind of set up our board and finally turn it on. So first we'll plug in the ethernet cable, so you'll start with putting one side into the board, give it a nice push, and it should lock into place. You'll do the same with the other side and plug that into your router. And then you'll also see that our board came with four power adapters. So I'm going to choose the one that works for my country. I'm from the U.S., so as you can see, I put the other three to the side, and I kept the one that goes into my outlet. Now you're going to take it. You see how there's two holes? 
you're going to put those two holes into the two prongs of the power supply. So you're going to push that in and then you're going to give it a nice twist to lock it and it should lock into place and then plug that into your outlet and then you can plug the other side into your board. Once you do that, you should see the light turn green. That means your board is connected. Now we're going to type in that RP hyphen and then whatever those characters were that were previously on your ethernet cable and you're going to type that in dot local and you should get to this platform that red pataya has for us so there's so many cool features here we'll explore these later on during our project videos but yeah that's how to successfully connect your board thanks for watching